So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make the CMOS turmeric face mask. Hey everyone, my name is Genesis and we are creating a homemade face mask using turmeric and CMOS for glowy, radiant skin. Why CMOS and turmeric, you may ask? Because CMOS, first of all, if you don't know, then you should. CMOS has 92 of the 102 minerals that our body needs. So it's very rich in nutrients. It's also very hydrating. So used as a face mask, it'll plump you right up, honey. It is better to use natural ingredients for skincare than other creams and um, toxins and chemicals that are going to seep into your skin. I always wanna go the natural route. Natural is always better. So it's pretty much skin food. Why I'm using turmeric, you may have heard turmeric face mask. It's like all over TikTok. Turmeric gives you a glow. It it brightens up your skin, it's anti-inflammatory, it has a lot of antioxidants in it, and it actually also controls hyperpigmentation and helps with acne too. So it's a really good one to use for a face mask. So combining both of these together, they have the hydration, the soothing, all the nutrients from the sea moss, and then you have the turmeric, which is the anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, and brightening of the skin, helping with acne, hyperpigmentation, I just felt like both of these together would make the perfect face mask for a glow. I'm going to show you guys what I use for my turmeric and my sea moss. This is what I use for the turmeric. The brand is Daily Chef. I think we got it from Sprouts, but it's an organic turmeric powder. And yeah, it's, it's pure turmeric. The only ingredients in here are organic turmeric. That's the way to go. And then also for our sea moss, we have a gel. There's a few more steps to make this. We actually did make it, my mom did. But so this is actually a gel like that. And the way you make it is you have the sea moss, the full sea moss, soak it in water overnight, and then you blend it until it's a gel. And that's how you make this. So we have a few mason jars every time of sea moss gel. And I put them in my smoothies. This sea moss actually doesn't smell or taste like really anything. Like compared to other sea mosses. Like you can slightly smell the, the sea smell. But this one is actually the lowest in scent and taste that I have found. I'm gonna link it below, but yeah, it's a really good one. Or you can just buy the gel in itself, but it'll probably be more if you get the gel. You can get a lot more if you get it whole, and then you make it yourself, but it is work. <laughs> so yeah, you got the sea moss gel right here. I will say though, for the face mask, the turmeric does stain fair skin. So you, if you have a really light fair skin, it might make it like a, a tiny tint of yellowish. So a lot of people I've seen put yogurt in it. You could do a non-dairy yogurt, aloe vera gel as well, but I feel like it will dilute with the sea moss gel. So I'm just gonna use these two together and I should be fine. One thing I would also tell you to look out for is the type of sea moss that you use because there are many sea moss brands out there, but after doing my research, I didn't do no research, sorry, my mom did. <laughs> After doing lots of research, she found that a lot of brands actually don't have the same amount of high quantities of minerals that the sea moss should have. And this is due to how they were raised. Like you wanna do wild caught sea moss, not farm raised sea moss. And then it also depends on what region it was actually grown in. So some regions have more rich in mineral sea mosses than other areas. And yeah, some of these are like man-made factory farmed sea moss and that's actually, they're actually not as dense in minerality than the other ones. So I definitely recommend to do your research on that because you wanna make sure that if you're gonna buy sea moss and you're gonna put this in your smoothies, like it, or, or put them on your face, like it's for a reason, like it's doing what it's supposed to do. This brand, we did a lot of research on it and I will link it below so you guys can see and you can like barely taste the sea moss if you are putting it in your smoothies. And uh, yeah, and it definitely has done the trick for us for the past few years. 
So I will link that below for you. Let's get into making the face mask now. Okay, so here are all my ingredients. I have my organic turmeric, my sea moss gel, my little bowl to mix with and utensils. This is how the gel looks like. I'm just going to take one big old spoonful, which I think that was a little too big, so I'm going to put some back and that should be enough. That actually made uh, a lot more extra and a big tablespoon of turmeric. So just mixing all of that in to create a paste. I'm making sure I dissolve all the turmeric and should be good. All right, so I got my mix right here and I got my brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and, I know it looks gross, just lather it right on. It's very cold, I had this in a fridge for kind of a long time. Okay, that can get a little messy. Get it all up in there. It smells really good. Oh my God, wow. Even though there's sea moss in there, I can't smell the sea moss, but I can smell the spices of the turmeric and it smells so good. Wow, I like it. I'm just get it right under my eyes, just like that. This is really cold because I had it in the fridge for two days. <laughs> this is two days later. But I actually got around to doing this. Don't tell nobody. It's still good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna continue to do this. And it's just so easy and simple to make. Just two ingredients, that's it. Only 20 minutes to get the glow. I'm really glad that turmeric also helps with acne because I do have a few little bumps on my cheeks. It's like the perfect face mask. It's like caking. It's like really caking up. Oh, whatever. Okay. So, voila. This is it. My face smells really cool. Oh, that was a wind. My face smells really good right now. So I'm just basking in the aromas of the spices. And I'm going to put my timer on for 20 minutes. So I will see you then. Okay, it has been 20 minutes and I look gold. And my face is really hard, so it's hard to move it. Everything is crusting on here. And I feel like with the sea moss, all the hydration seeped into my skin. And so now it's just like the crust that's left. Let's see how hydrated and glowy my skin actually looks right now. Holy sh my face is yellow. I'm not done taking it off yet, but like, bruh. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this, just to make sure I got everything off, because it gets stuck in your pores a little bit. So I just wanna make sure that I get all of the turmeric off. See, as you can see, the soap is looking yellowish. So it is taking it off. One thing I will also say is that this does even stain on your nails. So this is just with me taking off the face mask and I definitely noticed that my nails are a little bit tinted too. So if you're gonna take it off, just use a glove before. So I was able to get all the yellow out. Just, I used my beauty blender and just with the facial cleanser, I was able to get all the yellow out, but that was pretty crazy how yellow I was. It's just the turmeric, it's so fine. It just gets in between all of your pores, but my skin feels so soft, like baby bottom skin, and it just looks so smooth, and I feel like it looks glowy, and I really, really like this face mask. I feel like all the nutrients just seeped into my skin, and... I love it. But now I'm gonna go in with my Juice Beauty Blemish Clearing Serum just because I know my skin is super prepped right now for a serum and it's going to just absorb right in. So lots of nutrients and goodness going on my skin right now, which I love. I'm so glad my skin didn't stay yellow because I was about to say like I might not be going to the gym tonight. <laughs> now I have my Youth to the People Deep Moisturizer that I'm going to go in with. Oh yeah. It's so good for your skin and it's literally so easy to do. Like literally just two ingredients and it makes a huge difference. Like my skin feels so smooth and plump and hydrated and the turmeric has amazing properties in it as well. So yeah, honestly, like I love how my skin looks after this. It's very glowy and radiant and smooth and soft. And I'm definitely gonna continue this as part of my skincare routine. There's still some more in there, so I'm just gonna 
put it away in the fridge and use it up later on. But I'm definitely going to do an update video on this face mask because I do want to continue to do it. And if you guys try this out, let me know what your feedback is. Until next time, sub to your girl's channel. I post vegan, beauty, and nursing content. So if you guys like this, I will see you on the next one. On some nights I